Hello, and welcome to 5 Facts About Routing Tables, the local maps for our networks. Like blocks to a city, numerous smaller networks are joined together to create larger networks, like our internet. But the issue that arises is how to navigate such interconnected systems when transmitting data. Acting as a roadmap of sort, a routing table provides a remedy by offering a list of probable routes that would aid in how information travels to its destination. Routing tables are usually found in two types of devices. The end devices, such as the clients and the servers, will have their own routing tables. These tables will most likely list the routes to gateway devices that act as exits and entrances for the local networks. The gateway devices, known as routers, will also have their own routing tables, listing routes to various destinations. Each route is generally divided into four segments. Let's have a look. Starting from the right, we have the interface through which all transmissions would take when using this particular route. Next is the gateway, which leads out of the local network. And the subnet mask works in conjunction with the network ID as the route's destination. So, how does it all work? Before we get started, keep in mind that routing tables are read either from top to bottom or bottom to top. So let's get started. By comparing a package destination IP address with the network IDs listed within the routing table, viable routes can be determined. After a route has been chosen, the packet is placed into a new container and is sent through the appropriate interface to the gateway device that leads to the destination subnet. And that's all there is to routing. Well, not exactly. Other than the basic parameters, routes can also have what is called a metric, which can be associated with various factors such as bandwidth, distance, and latency. The reason for metrics is to fine-tune route selection, especially in situations where there are multiple viable paths to the same destination. The route with the lowest metric is always the preferred route. And there it is, five facts about routing tables. Do you have a question or fact you would like to add? Leave a comment. And if you liked the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you're not. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.